Hello friends, today I am going to solve Likert problem number 5, 2, 3, continuous average sum. So we are given an integer array nums and an integer k and we need to return true if in that array we could find at least two elements which are continuous and they sum up to a value which is a multiple of k. So what is a multiple of k? Any value which could be divided by k and the remainder is equals to 0 then um the value is a multiple of k so uh, let's see an example so for example 25 is a multiple of k because 25 uh, when we take modulus uh, with 5 we get a remainder 0 similarly 5 is also a multiple of 5 and 0 is also a multiple of 5 now moving on to our question um we are given an array and a value so here our value is equals to six and we need to find contiguous sub array which uh which sum up to you know be the multiple of um k and here so we start from our first index which is 23 and then um since we know 23 is only single element so uh, we need at least two so we just take a remainder of 23 by 6 and then we know the remainder is equals to 5 right so we store it some we store it in a dictionary on a site and then we add a 2 to our um running sum so 23 plus 2 is equals to 25 and we know the remainder is equals to one right so we store this two and now again uh, we move on to the next element which is four and then we add it to 25 so we get the value 29 and when we take the remainder with six the value is equals to five now here you can see the remainder five we already um you know um, receive the remainder 5 when we uh, were doing our operations uh, previously right so this means that uh, we could actually uh, uh, get um, a multiple of 6 if we subtract the first element the element until this position uh, from our um, running sum so we subtract 23 from our running sum and then we receive our element so how is actually we getting how are we actually getting this so see here uh, we are receiving a five um remainder because this is five greater than a multiple of six which is 18 right so 18 plus 5 will give us um 18 plus um 5 gives us 23 and uh, we actually need a multiple of 6 so if we subtract 5 from 23 we get an 18 which is a multiple of 6 now we receive a 2 again so our uh, running sum becomes 25 and the remainder is equals to 1 and um here now um uh, 25 25 is 1 greater than 24 which is a multiple of 6 and we either need a 24 or um, or 6 plus any um, any n times at the value of 1 and times 1 now when we move to our third element 4 so we uh, receive a 29 right so here in total um this was five greater than the multiple of 18 and now when we add all of these we are getting 29 which is again five greater than the multiple of six um right so when we uh so when we subtract this we are actually subtracting 18 which is a multiple of six and 5 which is not a multiple of 6 so when we subtract 5 uh, from this 5 we're actually getting a 24 and then when we subtract 18 which is a multiple of 6 it will still be a multiple of 6 
so this is how we actually uh, uh, get our answer so now let's start coding and create we first of all check if the length length is less than or equals to one and we just return false because it should be at least one the contiguous um, you know, let set equals to you know, set running sum equals to zero and then let okay now now for let n of nums And previous remainder equals to zero. So what I'm gonna do is update my running sum and then see if set has the running sum. If it does, then we're gonna return return true. Because that means that we have found our solution if not then um, my I'm gonna add my previous remainder to the set and then my previous remainder is going to be updated to the current remainder okay okay I'm so sorry we need to actually check for the remainder remainder equals to running sum modulus k and then we need to see if remainder is actually you know we already have that remainder remainder if not, we return false at the end. So the time complexity of this uh, solution is O of n because we are uh, looking over n times and the space complexity is O of n as well.